Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So like I told you guys the other day, Nicki Minaj's mother, the day before her album Queen was set to drop, she was supposed to be doing an interview um, with some low-budget-ass radio personality. I don't know if he works for Pod 105 or he was just wearing the T-shirt. Never seen these people before, but she actually went on to the show to talk about the entire situation with Jelani. And I can say that that interview, I watched the entire thing and it was a cringe fest, okay? Everything from the horrible interviewer who act like he didn't know if he was coming or going to her, you know, the way she was speaking, it's like she just kept talking in circles. She was getting so frustrated. She was trying to talk about her son and, you know, it was just a whole bunch of mess, okay? Not only did she say there was no evidence that the girl was anally uh, raped and assaulted, she also said the little boy on the stand was lying and that he told him that the mother was going to get $25 million and, and this was a whole blackmailing attempt. And then on top of that, she's also claiming that the DNA was inconclusive and that there were other DNA, basically trying to insinuate that once again, the girl was sleeping with multiple men, not just her son. Um, but she just basically made a lot of excuses for him. This interview, like I said, was just really hard to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a snippet right here. Go ahead and check this out. We're talking, um, but we have the trend. We have the, the affidavits to prove. Right. You know, um, that um, they were busy talking about his sister, why he didn't take the stand. That means he was guilty. Mm -hmm. If his sister didn't show up, that means he was guilty. Mm -hmm. And they totally ignored the evidence. Wow. That there was no evidence to prove this man guilty. Right. So they went by their own mind, their own, their own feelings, and they, they already had him guilty way before trial, um, before um, the trial ended. The trial ended, right. When I heard about the anal sex thing, I said this guy was a monster I, until I read the transcript. So Wasn't there? Uh, yeah. The, man, the, the, the doctor said absolutely none, no anal sex. When she said to the jurors, that there will be in her opening statement and they all looked at him yeah and like i just said oh my god yeah yeah he, he oh was already he was that a, was it that was he it he was already tried right he there. was already tried okay. misley that's what yeah. she did okay uh, let's talk about the little the little 10 year old boy grant now now I'm, i was reading and he said he saw the sex and whatever but i i heard read here that the lights was off what, what does he got x-ray vision or what so he said again in the transcript that the lights were off. The light was off in the room. Yet still he drew a picture and said, this is the position they were in. When he was cross examined, um, how, 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 well, how was the room? It was dark. Right. If the room was dark, how did you see? That <laughs> also was overlooked. There's so many things in the case. All right, so you guys just heard that interview. So like I stated, the whole thing is cringy. That interview has more dislikes than likes, and a lot of the barbs have been dragging her and accusing her of trying to mess up Nicki Minaj's career and stating, you know, why would you come out with this so close to her album release date? People were going in on her so much so that today she's now defending her interview and she's blaming media takeout for being messy. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Nicki Minaj's mother, Carol Mirage, had to say. Go ahead and check this out. Carol says, MTO has again gone on their publicity stunt. Rates at any cost. Why would this mother, who stayed on her knees all weekend to ensure the success of her daughter's album, try to sabotage her? Please make sense out of nonsense. This is all a ploy for her haters to make you believe that there's a feud between us. This interview was timely since the judge's decision on the juror misconduct is due August 24th. I waited to post my link to give more time to Nikki, but the producers sent this out and an interview at this time cannot stop the success of the Queen's album. Don't believe the hype. All right, so you guys just heard what Mama Carol had to say. And like I said, this entire situation is just cringeworthy at best. First and foremost, I can't take her seriously. That interview did not do anything. It did not make her flattering at all. It made her look like she was an apologist for her abusive son. Now, I understand as a parent, like I said before, you don't want to see the worst in your children. You don't ever want to think that your own child that you gave birth to could do something so demonic. But there's a lot of evidence against this man, and this man was found guilty. And she can say that the mother tampered with the evidence and that the little boy is lying. But there's obviously enough evidence, you know what I'm saying, that stated that the man did what he did and to me he deserves time in prison okay 
For her to do the interview so close to Nikki's album release date also makes me give her the side eye. She can say that, you know, there was no malice in that and that she's trying to help her son. But at the end of the day, she does not need to help her son. Her son is a grown ass man. OK, and why even put Nicki Minaj in the middle? Why even bring Nicki Minaj's name into this? This is why I also feel like Nicki Minaj kind of went off yesterday on social media and all the drama that's been going on around her was also to deflect from all the bullshit that her mom is involved in and all the BS that her mom is putting out there about her brother Jelani. So this entire situation is really disturbing, but I'm gonna need her to stop enabling her son. I'm gonna need her to stop making excuses for her son. At the end of the day, her son put himself in this position and there's no excuse for this whatsoever. I don't care if this little girl slept with a hundred men. At the end of the day, your son is responsible for himself and he chose to engage in sexual intercourse with a child that was between the ages of 11 and it did not stop until she was 15, okay? So this entire situation is sickening. He was a trusted adult. They looked to him like a father figure and he took complete advantage of that. And for her to try and make excuses for him is just really sickening. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation of Nicki Minaj's mother, Kara Miraja, going on an interview defending her son, Jelani, from his molestation and rape allegations. Do you agree with what she had to say during that interview? Or do you feel like this interview just made her look really bad? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, Definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.